Good afternoon, Adam here from Board at Home. This is our uh, Jump In Let's Play episode and today we are taking a look at Arboretum. It's a game where you are building up your own Arboretum and then scoring points based on different paths for various species. So I'll go and show you uh, the first starting hand here. So you can see we've got a whole variety of species. We've got cherry blossom there, uh, blue spruce, and on and on. You can also see they all have a number value. This is what we'll be using to create our paths. To create a path, we need to create uh, a, a journey between two cards of the same species. So there, for example, we would need to connect these two in ascending order. So if we had something like that, for example, we would score towards the end of the game. You'll see the setup for this is fairly simple. So we've got our deck of cards here. We're just setting up as usual for our two player game. So we've got six species in total, which is 48 cards. So we've um, already dealt out seven to each player and we've got the deck here. So it's a fairly simple um, turn order. So you always draw two cards at the start of your turn, add them to your hand, and then you have to play one card to your Arboretum and discard cards. So you'll always be with seven cards in your hand at all times. And then at the end of the game, you'll have cards in your hand that will enable you to score or have the right to score. So we'll discuss that when we uh, play through a little bit more. So without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start with the player on our right here. So he's gonna draw one, two cards there. And then he gets to play one to his Arboretum, so we play that one there, and then we're going to chuck, say, that one. We don't have any any species of any other card of that one, so that one's going there, and we are done for the turn. So then this player, so they're going to take a look through their cards. They're going to draw two, one, two, and then they're going to play theirs. So let's just take a look here. This is the kind of game where you probably will benefit from sorting them in order. Okay, so he's gonna play this one and then he is going to discard this one here. So we'll just put his discard pile just off camera like the other one. Then we draw two, one, two. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna play that one there, and then we are going to discard this one. Okay, well they're gonna play that card, and they will discard the spruce there. And we keep doing this until the deck runs out. So we'll go through a few more turns. So let's say we want to go for oh, what do we want to go for? Eh? Let's go for that one there. And then we have to discard a card. So we will discard this one. And this play here, they're going to play, let's play that there. And they will discard the cherry blossom. So we'll keep going like that and then I will come back and I will show you the scoring. Okay, so we've played through the whole thing. Um, I just wanted to skip to the end because uh, it can be just a little bit boring just to watch the whole thing. But I wanted to show you the scoring system. So. In Arboretum, once you've finished, uh, you then have the uh, phase where you gain the right to score your paths. So you'll be looking in your hands for cards that are the highest value, except an eight, which counts as a zero for this part, the highest value um, for your uh, species. If you don't have it in there, uh, there is still a chance you can score, but, um, it's a bit of a gamble. 
interestingly in this game, what you can do as well is if you have uh, cards left in your hands um, for a species uh, that another player has, like for example, this player might have a blue spruce, they don't, but if they did, uh, they could also try and claim it. So this is where the scoring really gets brutal because you can start depriving people of points for their paths. So we'll take a look through here. So um, we can try and claim on the uh, dogwoods and the jacaranda. This player here, we go through and they can try and claim on the cassia and the blue spruce so what would happen is you would go through this list here and call each of them out whoever gets the right to score they'll show their cards or if anyone that has that card can show it if they've got the highest value of that card they gain the right to score so for that blue spruce which is the first on this this player here is going to show the six in the blue spruce this player then has an opportunity to try and deprive them of those points they can't so this player will score points for the path of the blue spruce so to explain the scoring on this bit um, we've got a few different things that we need to take into account so you score one point for each card in the path so one two three four five we score one additional point uh, for each card in the path if it's at least four cards long and all cards of the same species. So we don't get to score that, but we've scored five points so far. We score one point if the path begins with an eight and two points if the path begins uh, ends begins with a one, sorry, and ends with an eight, which scores two points. So that's one point for beginning with a one, two points for ending with an eight. So we start with a one there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got six for the extra point for the starting with the one. So we would then go for six points there. We would go down to the next one, the Cassia here. So both players would then pick a card. So he only had the two. So he'll get to score on his unless this player manages to get theirs. So they don't have any Cassia. So they, under these rules, they wouldn't be able to score for this Cassia here. So this player, we were at one, two, three, four, five. So we would get five points for that. We don't get the uh, bonus points for all the cards being of the same species. Uh, we get an additional point for it starting with a one and two points for it ending with an eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points in total for that one, which would leave us on 14 points. And then you would just keep going through and then score up for each player. Again, if you have a card that uh, stops another player from scoring on theirs you can uh, put that down to uh, deprive them of points the variant that we play I will just bring this up is that um, we just score points based on uh, what paths we have so we'll still do it that um, you'll need to have your um, cards to uh, gain those points uh, but we find that in the spirit of the game that it's just a bit more in keeping. You know, it's quite a nice, calm, relaxing game. And then it feels like you get hit with a sledgehammer towards the end in the scoring system. It's an interesting scoring system. And I feel that if it was um, any other game, then it would work really well. But um, that's just like my personal opinion on it. I think it is a fantastic game. It's really easy to set up. It's really easy to play. It's... Uh, basically hand management uh, but it's such a beautiful game that I feel I can forgive the scoring system but as I said we play it in a different way where you just get to score the paths um, we feel it's a bit more in keeping with the uh, flavour of the game so that is everything for this if you liked it um, we do have it in the library so you can come and give it a go as well we also have copies upstairs in the shop if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to comment below. Uh, call us on 01843 316 281 or visit us in store. We'll be happy to help. And that's it for today, guys. Uh, looking forward to the coming week and I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye.